Good evening, everybody. Hopefully you can all hear me. Uh, I am joined 
uh, with the mystical voices in the background by uh, Jan, uh, Jan, community manager, and Lucas. Say hello, folks. Hello. Hello, hello. Go. Mystical. Excellent. Well, after that insightful briefing, uh, moving on. Uh, welcome to the stream. We are going to be looking at the Dresden Risa upgrade in Trainsome World 4. And the uh, uh, there's another loco we're looking at tonight. I can't remember what it was. It's probably not that important, to be honest. I don't think anyone's really here to look at this new loco. Um, the the, the ve Vector. But what is it, Lucas? Ah, it's a robot. Something, something huh? electric. <laughs> <laughs> It's a not red box, so you know it's it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, it's the Vectron. So yes, we'll be looking at the Vectron. A uh, super hyped. It's a really cool train. Um, so uh, yes, we'll be taking a look at that. Uh, we're going to have a look at nighttime um, on the Dresden Risa route as well, because lighting was always a high point of the um, the original Dresden Risa route, and we want to show you what Todd Four has done to that. Um, and uh, obviously, we see, we'll be showing you the skies and so forth. So uh, I'm going to hand over to uh, Jan for the admin. Yes, the dreaded admin, um, JD, has taught me well. I'm going to go through it super quick. Trains of World 4 comes out September 26th in just 12 days. You still have a few days left to pre-order. Uh, if you do so on console and Epic, you get up to 20% discount and up to 25% on Steam. The Deluxe and Special Edition also nets you a five-day early access, so you can get uh, started on September 21st, which is just one week away. And the Vectron, which is what we're going to look at today, is also part of the Deluxe Edition, so take a look at it. Uh, and all the store links and the links to roadmap articles and FAQs can be found in the description below. And one more interesting point today marks our 1,000th video on this channel. That's pretty cool. Woo. And that's it. It's very cool. That's very cool. Okay, then. Well, without further ado, uh, hopefully let us know if any volume levels are up. I've tried to balance everything out, but uh, shout if we need anything changed. Uh, I think I think we just need to get ourselves on with it, don't we, really? So, um I mean, scenarios haven't changed. Jump in here, Lucas, if I'm saying anything out of turn. Scenarios haven't changed. Um, the uh, no. training tutorials, the 143 introduction is fixed. Um, hooray, everyone live a little shout. Um, so uh, that one is completable now. Um, otherwise, in that under timetable mode, obviously, the Vectron gets how many new services is it, Lucas? 20. 20. There you go. So I counted 20. them myself. Oh. You did. <laughs> So you've got, but there. it also it also substitutes into all of the existing stuff that's on the route. So actually, there's tons you can do uh, with the Vectron on this route. Uh, you can use the Dresden on Vorarlberg as well. Uh, use the Dresden on Vorarlberg. There you go. Yeah, you know, this is this is it for me, really. Uh, you can use the Vectron on uh, Vorarlberg as well, can't you, Lucas? Yeah, yeah. It's um, it has a few uh, Vectron only services there and one scenario, and um, otherwise it subs into stuff where it's. It can sub into it, basically. Yeah, it subs yeah. where it can. But uh, yeah, there's loads of substitution on this route. So there is tons, 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 tons that you can do on this, which is which is good. Now, we are going to do uh, 44392. I'm going to change it to static weather so that we know what we can be doing. Uh, during the day, it's, it's a 9.30 uh, service. Let's just get going, so shall we? Oh, probably yeah, Matt, you're still well. showing yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This is why I have you guys to keep me out. I've been sitting there playing and everyone has been like, really, are you doing this again? This is, the, this is actually the doing a map, really. You know, it's not missing stations. It's just not sharing the screen in the first place. Right. <laughs> so welcome this to is... the Vectron. So this is not a cashier system. I'm confused. What? Nobody got that joke. It's okay. <laughs> It's like one of the most used cashier systems in like restaurants. It's called Rekt Vectron for some reason. Yeah, no one gets that. Well, we, <laughs> not in the UK. I think that might be a locale specific joke. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. So I actually had anyway. some I had some stuff sent to me that I could, to help me understand um, you know, the cool features to show actually. 
So what are we going to look at? So we have got um, the left screen here, which is showing uh, brake information, throttle information, what power setting you're on. So if you click on one, you can change over uh, for the Austrian, which is a setting for Rahlberg, uh, Lucas. Uh, that's, that's a 15 kV, 15 kV. Yeah, 80, yeah. 15 kV. So you'd switch to that one. Pantograph down, circuit breaker open, all that stuff. Change the power and then you can raise it again. And actually, when you go over the um, neutral section at the border, you have to do this power switch over um, from what I understand as well. So you'll have to, your neutral section or border crossing is a little bit more involved on this train. Um, you can change your headlights here as well. So rather than being on the back of the loco, or there is a switch on the back of the loco as an override, actually, you put them on here. And then a lot of the common presets are on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just set the three white lights on the front. You can see that's been clicked off. This is your AFB control, uh, which is currently switched off. Um, so if I go ahead and set uh, AFB up to where I want it to be, which is... Uh, <clears throat> right, before I actually do anything, before we need to turn the cab on uh, over here. So I need to, um, well, I've got the, that's better. I had the game audio turned off, so I couldn't hear anything. Right, so master key on. Now, one thing you're going to have to always remember is this train brake cutout switch. Make sure you've done that. And now you've actually got control of the train. Put it in forwards. Uh, and I think at some point I pressed control five and turned it off. Um, go me. Right, uh, we're going to we've got headlights. If we go on the outside, see we have we have lights, and that's all controlled off the screen. Now, one of the other things over on the right-hand side here, you'll notice that the um, speedometer defaults to on the right, and in a lot of cases that is where it defaults to. But you can actually toggle the screens around if you want to put the uh, put the speedometer perhaps in a more traditional location. So. It's up to you where you put these things a little bit and uh, how you can move things around. So there's a lot of stuff going on on these screens, actually. It's very cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, safety systems. Um, so part of what you can set up on here, under settings, you can set up your braking strength. Uh, you can set up um, PZB mode, brake mode, so GP and R can be set up on here. All sorts of stuff can be set up on here that I don't really understand. Um, Joe, Lucas, are you in a better place to just walk through what all these settings mean? <laughs> kind of. Um, yeah, so the, the, the top two um, is basically just braking power. You can, if you want to have a, like a, a lighter version of e-brake, um, you can modify that there. The, uh, the second one um, is the traction power. Um, there will be trains in reality where, where, it's a, where it's a problem that you don't you, you're not allowed to apply, apply too much power otherwise the couplings might break or so so you can limit that um yeah that's the other is a, is a, a limiter for the power you get from the ogilvy and yeah piece of models um depends on the train uh this one is m that's correct and um so oh um so m is limited to 120 kilometers an hour and we have different curves than an O, which is normally used for passenger trains. And yeah, the, the brake modes are fairly complicated. I think that Mr. William Green did a nice write up on the forum somewhere. So yeah, so the brake modes are about brake timings. They're about how the, yeah. um, the the rate of which things change their brake speed. And it's in order to, um, what it's trying to achieve is that different um, vehicles at different weights will apply brakes at different speeds. And if you get it wrong, you could end up with wheels locking up and uh, or things releasing in the wrong, wrong time. And this just effectively slows everything down to make it more evened out. Um, so um, G is quite restrictive, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's freight timings. Yeah. So it takes a while. So I think we're, uh, we're in good shape. That's how it be. So we need to turn on safety systems. They, if I remember rightly, are here. DIFA, PZB, LZB, we've got a parking brake. So this is your headlight override, but you really shouldn't need to worry about that. You've got the switch on the console. I think this is kind of for if the, the console's not working or something. And I've got some fuses, which those. Or oh, there is no engine room. I know some people are asking about that. There is no engine room. 
Uh, you've got a number of controls down here, so aircon, which is obviously important, uh, and uh, fans and so forth, and then over here, wipers are over here, there you go. Um, we've got the the usual standing controls for doing your uh, shunt manoeuvres. Right, okay, I think it's time that we get our backsides moving. But, just a bit. Right, so, I'm going to... I have to turn AFB on, don't I? RFB. AFB on. RFB. Yeah. Now the I can... RFB. Doing what? 60. Start with. So this is currently showing 70, and don't worry about that warning, I'll get to that in a minute. I need to be setting this to... Go with 50 to start off with, but then you press the top button there, which is also on, I think, control R. RFB. 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 Shift R. RFB. RFB. There you go. Shift R's accepted it, or you can just click on the top. So you have to confirm your speed sets on this one, which is uh, an interesting additional step. Meanwhile, we have a green light with 60 kilometers an hour at the next signal. That's just a distant signal. Uh, a repeater, sorry. So. Okay. <laughs> Main. We can get moving. Right. Give it all the beans. That doesn't cause trouble. So it's got some interesting handling um, that you might see if I drive badly enough, and if we get some rain or anything, the um, it actually independently manages all of the traction motors, which means that they'll they'll um, change and apply grip accordingly, um, different independently, um, rather than all as one thing. So you'll see them sort of coming in and out as you go. So we're accelerating. Uh, I'm going to bump up the uh, AFB speed now, just the uh, one extra bit. So we press R to go to 55, and then Shift R or 60. There we go. Found it. Again, Shift R to accept it. We're rolling. Vectron time. Yeah. So those are the new wagons. The Vectron. The Yarnos wagons with the uh, VTG livery. Scarily similar to each other. Even blue. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe opportunity for a uh, crossover at some point. <laughs> Acknowledge, Mads. Oh. So as you can see, PCB works beautifully. <laughs> well done. Oh, they bought it. Look, all of this red on the screen. Talk about rubbing it in, man. Yes, I did that uh, doing a wonderful sh job of showing off all the safety systems. Exactly. We've got to prove it works, otherwise there'll be doubt and conspiracy. And uh, But there, and there was also a request which I wanted to fulfil um, to do audio on the outside. So, you know, I'm here for you folks. I'm gonna warn you that this route has the unspeed traps. So yeah, I remember it. I remember it. Sh okay, shouldn't be that big of a problem with the freight train, but <laughs> you're match. <laughs> Well, with me, you don't, no, no problem at all. I'll be like, ah, oh, we're roaring along now, and because we're sitting there going, no, just no. <laughs> you gotta wait for the brake pipe to recharge so that the brakes can release. Uh, while we wait, um, if you're okay with it, and go through a few questions. Fire away. Um, just scrolling through the forums right now. Um, we had a few questions asking if we can enter the engine room of the Vectron, which I think is no, we can't. not possible. Uh, as well as, what was it? The seat height, is it adjustable? No, but the, uh, 
the seat height, uh, Lucas, you think you, uh, you adjusted the seat height as a result of some feedback, didn't you? Yeah, so I, I lowered it by 8 centimeter. sort of the freight driver is now not, I don't know, he doesn't come from the Netherlands anymore, he's now Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Six feet tall anymore. Super Gotta say the community has done a fantastic job answering a lot of the questions in the forum, so I'm having a bit of a hard time finding any questions that aren't answered yet. Uh, but if you're in chat and you have questions, by your way, I'll try to note them down whenever we have time. I'll go in there. Uh, someone was asking if we can show them the lighting system, especially the night lighting. Um, we are going to be showing night lighting, yes. Later. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, one, one drawback of the new Ocelli wires is that the new system only applies to the wires and not for the, for the not the wires for like the, um, the headspan wires. itself. So uh, we're gonna look at updating that in future routes. Um, well, not look, we're already making that, but um, I doubt that's gonna get backdated to other older routes, sadly. Time. It already makes Biden a difference though, being able to see the uh, the gantry, the, the overhead wires like that. It's uh, yeah. it, they were always too hard to see. They vanished far too quickly. Ah, I love Dresden. A good route. It is it's always been one of my favourites, and of course now there's more to do in it. Yeah, so for those, anyone's wondering about whether the route has changed or it doesn't go to the airport, it's a pretty common question. Uh, no, um, the route itself hasn't changed. It's just been um, some fixes and improvements generally to the, uh, to the route. So for those of you that remember the, um, the high-speed reversing um, freight train, it is now a thing of the past and shall be consigned to myth and law. It never happened. Any videos proving otherwise are wrong. Yeah, some some minor things were fixed. So um, there were a few areas where, where like oh, there were was a gap in the Ocelli and we got you know, reconnected that and got rid of that. Or some areas where there was a little grass growing through weird weird areas. So there, it got a slight bit of polish, but not too much. We also fixed some of the achievements, uh, if I remember correctly, um, for the one four three. Yeah, that was uh, just a related to the um, the number of Mars driven and and uh, the um, that that's and that tutorial not being completable, I think. Yeah. So um, yes, they should all be fine now. I was in monitoring Pamkalis, so I couldn't drive that fast. But I'm out now, so yeehaw. Ooh. Just try and stop me. <laughs> Should have game will. <laughs> Many times.
Get some green lights ahead of us now. The two tones. So this is. I don't know if there is a foot switch, is there? Mm, not on this one. Oh no, there is. What's that trick at Cifa? So. There you go, control space. Now I've got to wait for the brake pipe to recharge again. So, yay. We almost got moving. I'm going to use the time for more questions. Uh, will the Vectron have IC passenger services? Um, not yet. There's a... No, no, not yet. Okay. But I'm, sh I'm sure we'll reuse the Vectron model in the future. I think, because doesn't the Vectron, if I remember rightly, the Vectron comes with quite a large range of formations that, um, that, will, that are based on other DLCs and so forth. And um, I'm sure I've seen screenshots um, that yeah. will, um, that, where you can use the, uh, the, the, the Vectron with coaching stock. Um, in in just... free room you can, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and scenario planner, um, but not in the services. They've not been added in services like that. What do you mean broken, Pam Carlos? It's all good. Just waiting for the brake pipe to recharge before the brakes are released. That's all. I'll put it on mini HUD bit later on bloggings. asking about the editor stream that was moved to next week. Scenario Planner. Uh, yeah, Scenario Planner and Free Remote will be previewed uh, next Monday. September 18th. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't available on the uh, stream as was originally planned and uh, uh, we all thought that it'd be better if uh, uh, I, uh, we did it another day when we could do it justice. And there will be uh, more editor streams after release. So oh, yeah. We're planning it. I thought my four hour streams were bad. Wait until you see Lucas's ten hour streams. <laughs> thought about that, what I'm going to do, like to show off track and signal. Like, the best <laughs> would probably be that we we pick like a route, pick three stations and completely build that. Yeah, I think that'd be good. That won't, that won't be a short stream. <laughs> That'll take a while. So maybe we can put up like a forum query about which three stations they want to see. Uh, or which two, like two stations connected by a route. Uh, yeah, we recently changed the forum structure uh, and added a section for the PC editor discussion. So uh, we can certainly start, uh, do something like that. Yeah, I need to prepare LIDAR, so I need to know it before, but we can, it should be fun doing something there. Uh, train fixes to Dresden and reset I don't think are applied to the TSW3 version, no. It's all been built on top of the, um, the rest of the changes, because there's been quite substantial changes to the route. We'd hoped to try and do it on the TSW3 version, but it didn't pan out that way, I'm afraid. I 
Yeah, it's it's the problem that the team switches over to TSW4, and that has major changes inside the editor. So when we do changes there, it's not that easy to just send it back, basically. Yeah. Fortunately, I, I stayed on TSW3, so a lot of the changes that I've been working on fixes have been able to be done on TSW3 and move forward, but that's not how this has worked out, because there's quite a substantial change in the wider team needed to work on it. But as you can see, it's looking pretty with the new clouds, new lighting. Oh, oh there's another gap. Oh. That's the old problem that's still haunting me. I'm just going to go up to 100. myself plenty of buff, I give him a 120 limit. You to being a freight train? Oh, I see. So let me look down this list that uh, Mr. Green sent over and see if there's anything else. So wheel slip protects you in rain or snow. Uh, each traction motor is independent. The target bugs will reduce if the slip continues. Traction motor shutdown feature. If you run with the throttle of the dynamic brakes below 35 or 60 percent, so let's run them at 28 uh, percent. Uh, after 15 seconds, two or one traction motor will scale back and shut itself off. Well, actually, one of them's already gone low. And there you go, another one just went and it ramped up the other one. So it's actually... Oh, that's really neat. I hadn't seen that work before. That's very cool. If I now reapply power... Of course, because AFB is on, I'm running at the maximum speed, it won't take any extra power, so... We're fine. But that'll work. So, setting screen here, you can set the brake mode, GPR, PZB B mode, UMO. You can also set maximum attractive effort or braking effort limits. Uh, note that the PZB brake mode can't be set while running or if PZB is in restrictive mode. The braking effort limit starts at 150 kilonewtons but can be increased to 240. Makes a big difference and you can change it while running. Uh, AFB, the system can be enabled both while running or stationary. It's pretty much a standard. There are no extra requirements to enable while running. <coughs> Here the flashing bug mechanic can be showed off. So yes, yeah, so what happens? is you can see the AFB, if I now drop the uh, target speed down, you can see how it's flashing, that means it's the new target but it's not set yet. And if I press the Shift R key to acknowledge it, then it becomes the new target and you can see the train is now um, beginning to change its speed to adjust to that. So yeah, if I now pop the speed back up to 100, you can see the flashing thing, acknowledge it with Shift R and away the train goes and catching up with it again. Uh, train length button, so... Where is the train length button, Lucas? I said there was a train length button. You mean, yeah, double click the... Um, the uh, throttle. Click, click. Oh no, the throttle. Your there throttle. you go. So it's now counting down train length up here. Pretty neat. The headlight setup screen I've shown you. Change country or voltage I've showed you as well. You can turn up the brightness on the screen in the middle, right? Better in the sun. Oh. Down below, yeah. Ella is uh, brighter. Okay, yeah. yeah, so you can see, you can see we're actually now back on four motors again. So if I cut the power down to 16%, and then at some point, after a few seconds, you'll see it readjust the motors again. Uh, and in neutral sections, um, you'll need to either manage the MCB yourself or uh, wait for it and then reset it afterwards again. So fairly standard stuff there. 
Oh, that's cut the power entirely because it doesn't need it. Well, that's pretty neat. So yeah, that's just an idea of some of the sort of the more complex stuff going on inside. Oh, hello. It's decided it needs more power briefly. Stuff you want to see, shout. You should be allowed to go 120 here, not just 100. I'm mostly just paranoid, to be honest. Go. <laughs> yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Four hour stream. Oh no. Is there a button on the controller to set and confirm AFB? Don't know the answer to that, Scott Rail. Hoping that someone will tell me. Need to just ask. I actually don't know. Listen, iPhone, stop correcting my words. There's nothing wrong with what I'm typing, you just don't know what an AFB is. Someone in the chat asking if there's going to be a manual for the Electron. A what? A manual? Um, I don't want to put words in James' mouth, but I believe he is putting something together, yes. Just crossing over onto the high speed line. If you don't remember the, Vec the uh, Dresden route, we've got Dresden down here. Uh, Neustadt turning around, Radable sort of area there. And then you've got Coswig in this area here. This is the high-speed bypass line then that comes all the way up here. Um, then you've got the Meissen branch coming out here. Um, and then these two converge back up and head up the Radable Yard here and Risa up here. There's also um, something up here I can't remember the name of, um, which you start in some of the services up on that way as well. So. Quite a lot of different places this route goes, um, which gives it a lot more of a network sort of a feel. Yeah, you'd have seen driver assist popping up a few times here already tonight. Yeah, the Ochili here has a... You can see it's black from my so there's a... I know what's going on. So I'll fix this. Patch. Oh, Gazinga says they're calling out the current looking to create a bypass for that bypass. So that's good. It does get really busy, even on this timetable, that it's... 
trying to squeeze the trains up and down the timetable is um, so I can see why they, they, they need some extra bandwidth. They're going up this bit in a minute. <coughs> safer on this one based on your speed? No. I know some of them, are, they go off more often when you're going faster. It should still be every 30 seconds, correct? Good question, but shouldn't be you? I might be imagining it. There is a type of safer that has that. But yeah, yeah, I know. My headphones are still pink pump colors, yes. These are the ones that are in the streaming room, though. Chat, if there's something you want to see? I'm sure we've had time distance on other things because this is time time, isn't it? Um, and I think it should I'm sure be time time, yeah. I'm, I'm sure we've had time distance on something else. Again, might be imagining it. Uh, so we are going to do a um, a night time, or is it night, or is it morning time, Lucas? Very early morning. Early, very early morning with a little light fog. Um, so that you can see the volumetric fog and the night lighting on and so forth. Um, so we'll be doing that. It's the last thing I think we're doing. We're just going to run from Dresden to Radable. Uh, that's a you know, massively lit up area of the route. Lots to see. Are the sunscreens? Can you uh, close the sunscreens on the windshield? I mean expert mode. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, someone was asking in chat. Hey Kev Gaby UK! Interesting question. What is it about this game that keeps you playing? I'm gonna throw that back out to the viewers. What keeps you playing, folks? I know what keeps me playing, but I'm here to sell, to tell you that, so I mean, for me personally, what I enjoy about train simulation is, well, I really enjoy trains. They're actually really quite fun to drive. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot going on, you can see. Far from being a make it go, make it stop, there's an awful lot going on here. And um, they're a real challenge to drive. So, and different trains drive different ways, and, plus, and different routes might keep, you have to wait those, drive those trains differently. There's a, just a lot to absorb and learn and understand. Um, yeah, it's great fun. I'm Callis. How did you make the Scotsman sounds? Well, what we did is we found the Scotsman and we recorded it several times. It was, uh, in fact, with the last recording trip was this su Sunday just gone. We had another recording trip. I'm not going to press buttons. I don't understand training in 20 because... Um, bad things will happen, probably. I'm pressing the buttons I've been told to press. Oh, we, one of our motors has switched off. Uh, 
uh, what is the screen in the top right corner for? So in reality, this would have um, a system called Ebula, which is your um, upcoming, your train timetable, so you can see what, what things are coming up. Uh, but we don't have the, um, uh, that's not implemented. So you've got your speedometer and traction control. And over here you've got a system, engine load traction systems control down here. What's going on with the motors and brakes and so forth. <clears throat> oh, there's a very, very big parallel between trains and planes and a very big overlap in terms of audience as well. I was heavy into flight sims before train sims came out, but that was 23 years ago. So. Now I'm too busy with trains. So, pretty similar for me. I wanted to get a, I wanted to be a driver, but uh, Chronic Illness said no. So <laughs> <laughs> I need to drive them here. As a former conductor, I think it's just nice uh, being able to drive a train without any passengers to act up. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, it's a very peaceful experience compared to real thing. It can be very zen at times, it really can. Uh, Kev says relaxing but with a little bit of stress. And you can kind of dial that stress level, and challenge, let's call it challenge. Um, up and down depending on what you want. So I've got all the safety systems turned on. I don't have to do that. I can leave them turned off. They just switches on the back panel, and then it doesn't sit there beeping at me every 30 seconds. And I've got, um, you know, or you can ride. This is a relatively straightforward run, actually. You know, other than getting out of Dresden, uh, where I had to pay attention to signals, it's been pretty much just a set it and forget it run. Um, but other runs, you know, you know, there'll be more stuff going on. So it's, uh, you can kind of, you know, pick the experience that's going to be more or less challenging. Some trains, steam trains or freight trains, you know, are going to be maybe a little more challenging. Something like a UK Electrostar running on East Coast or London Brighton, probably not as challenging. It's going to be a lot more rela uh, relaxing of an experience. So it's kind of like, there's a bit of everything and you can just choose what, what you know, what, what meets your needs at that moment. Some people I know like to, you know, have a blast on the LGV at, 320 kilometers an hour, which is not a hard thing to do, but it's really enjoyable. Uh, Kev Gamer, is the scenery accurate? Yes, we couple, well, you know, the definition of accurate varies to personal preference. It is intended to be an accurate representation of the area. The maps are a one-to-one -one scale replica of the, um, of the real world. So all the track layouts, signals, and scenery tries to recreate it one-to-one. -one. Um, and uh, yeah, so there are roads, fields, houses, and trees, everything, bridges should be all where they were. It might not be the right exact house, but there should be houses where houses are, for example. Yeah, but roads and like bridges and stuff should be pretty accurate. Yeah. Everything that's important, really. What is the fastest wiper set? So down here. There you go, fastest wiper set. Mainline soon. Jill to come and sort you out soon, or just with, you can keep up with them puns. Go on, Lucas, sorry. You're in luck that your train is so slow. This is the place where you always fail. Speed trap avoided. Well, yes, because it's the 160 to 130 drop, isn't it? Yep. 
and it's tempting to leave it till the last minute but do you get obstacles on the track broken down train so some of the scenarios have some additional things that go on like that um, but it's trying to replicate more of a normal day in the life experience um, and uh, certainly in service mode you won't really find broken down trains um, scenarios for example might have broken down trains that the system routes you around or that you've got to go and pick up and return to a depot um, there's an interesting scenario on East Coast Mainline which we'll be showing next week where um, the Azuma has got a diesel mode for self-rescue um, and your train is technically broken down and you have to switch it to diesel mode and um, and then rescue yourself into the depot essentially which is quite quite fun actually Let's switch to the Mini HUD for a little bit then. So go into settings and accessibility, as Mini HUD. So you'll notice in Mini HUD, everything else is gone, and now I've just got a little bit of sum a summary of information in the top left corner. Uh, but otherwise than that, I am left to be reliant 100% on looking at what's going on in the cab. This is uh, given my concentration levels at the moment. Probably not a good thing. <laughs> To the uh, what is it? It's a chemical plant, isn't it? Yeah, um, chemical plant over here. One of the biggest in Germany, actually. Some fun after shunting to be had down there. Someone is asking if you can choose not to display the speed limit on the mini. Yes, you, you can. can. There's a setting for that. You can turn that off. You can turn the score off as well. There's a setting for that. I'm using Control 6 to do it, but there's a setting for it as well. <coughs> There's quite a lot of configuration options now. If you pop into um, settings under so accessibility, you've got things like the HUD type, whether you want to show the score, which I just showed you, showing the current speed limit, which is what we'll toggle it on the mini HUD. Then under HUD and gameplay, you've got whether you see the visual markers, whether you see the speed limit and, and speed aspects that are coming up. Spin next signal aspect will mean that you could see where the next signal is, but not what the next signal is. So again, that's another play. You might want to make it a little more difficult so that you don't know what the signal is according to the HUD. You've still got to pay attention, but you know there's one coming up in 800 meters or something. Um, and then you've got the track monitor, which is the thing on the top right, giving you advance notice of the upcoming two kilometers. Uh, measurement all the different units and so forth so there's there's lots of different settings explore them and find the the ones that work for you I don't think there's any operable functions up here oh no there you go <clears throat> oh yeah somebody was asking for that Yeah, so the Vectron is really widely painted local, so I'm sure we're going to see lots and lots and lots of little design Oh items. yeah. Good to get the Vectron in the uh, in the sim. To be honest, it's such an a, a staple now in German and European railways. 
that uh, yeah, its, its presence was uh, its, sorry, its absence was notable. They appreciated me for doing that. Get ready to um, turn off into the. Signs up. Wait, is this? I would like to see how signs ends up. Uh, I think you're a bit too late for that. We covered that earlier. What uh, version are we playing? Shipping wheels. Cheers, Cave Gamer. That's a bummer. Someone know what the high, sp uh, high speed for the electron is? It's top speed. I don't know, I presume it's 100. Well, actually, I have no idea. Does it say like 200? There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but these days it's normally written somewhere in the cab. Not that I not meet the curve in time. Couldn't quite make it. Someone had me looking at speeds instead. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but this way we can show off the Sans Spencer to there you go. the person asking earlier. So, yeah. Actually, you're welcome. Just once again proving that PCB has continued to work and it wasn't a fluke that it worked at the beginning. Just down. Uh, I'm PCBM, so I'm I'm okay for up to 120, and I was only doing 115, but clearly needed a more break. I only missed it by about two kilometres an hour. So. Waiting for the pipe to charge. At some point, the brake pipe will charge and it will release the brakes. Yeah, um, bogey brakes. Power applying. See the brakes on the bogey's being released. That's to do our hill start. It's automatic hill start, effectively. So even though the brakes haven't come off yet, just apply the brakes and they release once it's got enough power behind it automatically. Do the hazard lights work? Don't know. Doesn't look like they're doing anything like they should do, but... I think you need to s set your lights off, but I'm not sure. Nope. Uh, do you have another question from chat if you are? Mm -hmm. um, someone is asking, are all pentagraphs the same design or do they 
have their system specific differences. I'm not sure what they should look like to be honest, so I will show you them. These look different to me. far to go now. Uh, Peter B M, which is the mode I'm in, is up to 120. Uh, bolt Peter B O is 160. Peter B U is 100. As you can see in settings, I'm in PCB mode M. Crazy killer. Um, there's there's all sorts of things that could or might could or might not be uh, added to the track monitor. Um, you know, we've we've added the core things. The original thing we wanted to do is to provide insight into the speed limits. That was the original reason for it. Um, and then we thought it'd be good to add the signals. And sort of we stopped there. I mean, adding markers um, uh, like platforms and sidings and so forth is another possibility. It needs a design. It needs thought. It needs testing. Um, and uh, but yeah, there's, there's there's more things we can potentially do. Um, but um, it's uh, it's not just a question of just throwing stuff on there because it could also make it packed and confusing. So we need to see how that works. Um, someone was asking what the special edition comes with. The special edition comes with all the core routes. So that's the training center, Antelope Valley Line, East Coast Main Line, then uh, S-Bahn Vorarlberg. As well as the upgrades to Nafika Dresden and the Flying Scotsman and Vectron, as well uh, as the Blinke Rheinstrecke, Southeastern High Speed, Boston Providence, and the LGV Mediterranean. And you get five days early access, two decal packs, the soundtrack, and some wallpapers. Crazy killer. I must admit, when we were looking at the um, the track uh, the track monitor design, the, I was I was more influenced by the old MSTS style one than I was even the TS Classic one, uh, because I like the simplicity of the uh, of the simpler view. And I think that's one of the things I really like about this is that it's it's not added lots of stuff for me to have to look at, uh, but it has provided a lot of value in in terms of what it adds to the screen. For those that think it's providing too much, because it's obviously it's it's a cheat mode, you know, bluntly, you don't you don't necessarily see this stuff in reality in reality unless you know the route really well. Um, but um, it's um, uh, it's a massive help if you're still learning to the the route and so forth. So. Going into the yard at Risa. Yeah, the root monitor is the equivalent of track of root knowledge, yeah. Track monitor. Very much so. V signals that isn't it? Mm -hmm. That one was drive sixty and expect stop. Can you deactivate the brake on the on the brake brake letting go electric brake blending? So yes.
If you want the distance counting numbers, then you've either got the um, the thing like I've got here, displayable, um, or you can just do continue using the normal HUD. One of the things we particularly wanted with this one is to get rid of this chasing to zero element and actually get you more present in the cab, paying attention to where you are. Um, so it's for that style of gameplay, rather play, rather than for um, look at numbers going to zero. So you've still got the original HUD for that. Nearly at our stopping point in Risa. No, there isn't a setting to turn driver assist off ball bags. The best you can do is turn off the uh, the tooltips, I think, which also turns off driver assist. Uh, we do want to add a setting to make it independent, but that didn't make it into the release. Someone is asking if stop precision is still counting as much for the high score, which I think less can so. use as a segue to to explain the scoring breakdown. Yeah, stop position is 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 less important. So you can see we've got score breakdown now. Um, it's the amount of points that it gives. Oh, I've got a platinum medal as well. Go me. Um, the amount of points it gives is um, increased per quarter mile um, compared to what you were getting before. The amount of points you get for a station stop, for the accuracy of the stop, and for the, um, um, the how time accurate you were as well, um, is quite considerably reduced. It used to be up to a thousand points, five hundred each. It's now more like about three hundred in total, uh, is the maximum you can get. So it's now all the more important that you have um, the um, um, that you you drive well along the way, um, and less important that you stop exactly in the right place or that you stop you know that you're on time so if you're running a little bit late um then you can um um you know should be fine you don't have to start breaking speed limits to to avoid massive uh, penalties on your uh, time so that's kind of one of the things we tried to make is following the speed limit the journey is more important than the exact stop on the station if you're 10 meters either way of the stopping point it's generally not the end of the world but breaking the speed limit is not a good thing so the game's tried to shift the balance so that um, better driving is rewarded better than uh, crazy driving to meet um, the deadlines and so forth so we're interested to see how that comes out you know how that washes out as more people use it but that's that's kind of the, the crux of it if you run without safety systems you get less points awarded um but you can still you should still be able to get a gold medal with without the safety systems platinum you pretty much will need safety systems on to get platinum medals <clears throat> right let's come out of that let's go to main menu Interacting correct use of horns, whistles at board. So it is something being looked at, Crazy Killer. Um, I don't know whether or not it will reach fruition. Um, it's quite tricky because um, in the UK there are time of day considerations. The US, it's oh, sorry, in Germany you very rarely use the horn, um, and in the US you use the horn as much as possible in certain patterns that have to be matched. Um, so it's kind of like there is no just blow the horn at a whistle board. It doesn't really work like that. There's 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 rules to it, and if you're going to reward someone for just blowing the horn, it kind of like feels like somehow it should be rewarding the correct use of the horn rather than just smashing the space button at the appropriate time. But we're we're looking at what the options are for that. It's but as always, there's nothing easy about railways. <laughs> right, uh, what was the service we we're running next um, on the Meissen branch? Um, I'm just going to pick yes. This we're going to just use the uh, the one four six or daytime run, I think. So what are you? Let's pick something in the evening or oh, early, uh, late afternoon. Sorry, uh, Meissen to Dresden. We're not going to run all the way to Dresden. Uh, we are going to run. Uh, 
then maybe we'll chuck a little bit of fog in there, just a bit of daytime fog. Um, and just wanted to show the um, the branch line because um, you know, so you can see how that looks. Uh, we're only running it as far as Coswig as soon as we join the main line, so it's a few stops. And then we're going to do a nighttime run <clears throat> out of Dresden. On. It's On. foggy. Very September feeling. I should probably unlock the doors, let people do their thing. The service needs more Vectron. <laughs> Be right. Um, a few more questions from chat, if you're up for it. Go for it. Uh, did the locals that come with Dresden Visa sort of for uh, 146 uh, and so forth also get updated with the new rain effects, for example? I believe the rain effects uh, and also obviously all the lighting has been revised. Uh, and how is API access coming along? I haven't really got anything to um, talk to about that one at the moment. Coming along very well, um, but um, not in a position to go into more detail. It'll be post-release we, we start looking at um, talking about that. We've got to figure out the right way to explain that. And there's um, documentation and examples being put together. Um, but um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's coming along really nicely. Thank you. One breaks, get off. We're not on the right route for the smiley, um, the smiley signal. Assuming you mean the one on Varaburg that's a speed test, a speed trap. No, no, no. I'll show you. I didn't even know there was one then. <laughs> Ziva. Ziva. Yeah, if you haven't taken a look at the branch at all, um, it's a beautifully scenic area. Um, and there's a there's a walk over in this area as well, quite a long walk you can um, go, which goes across a bridge to a, a train spotting vantage point, which is really awesome. Routes. There's still so many routes we can do, so many cities missing. <laughs> so, you're not alone. I mean, <coughs> if I could have my way, I'd have, I'd have some ideas for routes. Everybody wants their hometown route. It's weird. Yeah, it's, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> I 
that. Not quite trip one I didn't quite trip it though. I fixed this, but it's not in an, in the build yet. It's super annoying. This will be a post release update. I've gone through all of these. Lucas has fixed the stopping points in the stations and I fixed the service mode to use them. So it's coming, but it'll be a post release patch again. We didn't quite get it done in time because the timetable needed more needed more work to make it work together. Same for the working neutral sections on this route. Yeah. Going <clears throat> Bison next. The train spotting point is just up on that hillside behind me. You can work your way up here. Eventually, and watch the trains. It's a bit of a hike. You'll have to go and find the stream where we uh, re when we released the route because we walked there and showed you what it looked like. So at the okay. next stage, I'm going to show you the smiley signal. Okay. You'll have to educate me on what that is. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know how in Germany, like in these little gardens, that mm -hmm. they, um, often they, they put up like old railway signals that yeah. I just got from the railway somewhere and uh, did a homage to that. Ah, okay. There's when you drive from Vienna, Hütteldorf, um, <coughs> the main station, Siva. there's all these small gardens along the track that are owned by UBB and are sold to UBB employees. <coughs> and there's uh, a lot of them have like old signals uh, in them as well. Mm -hmm. I doubt we'll still be here at 10 p.m. for uh, Chris. Something's gone very badly wrong if that happens. Yeah, 
p.m. Lucas and me are one hour ahead. It'll be 11 p.m. for us. Lucas never sleeps, so it's fine for him. Uh, my fiance won't be too happy. Like I'm, I'm streaming <laughs> from from our bedroom. <laughs> I've got my peace and quiet, we can stream until tomorrow morning, it's okay. You, you do what you have to, I'll, I'll peace out at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I think Nazornowitz's next station then is Coswick, if I remember rightly. This is the, long, the longer haul along the branch line. Alarms tonight. I mean, unless. Who knows? It was National Alarm Day today in Germany. 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah, it's everything uh, September. Went, everything went yeah. crazy, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then I. <laughs> <laughs> I like the. My phone. Uh, put on a siren. Crazy. I think a lot of people didn't know because I saw a lot of people putting their head out the window. work with all operators of phones because the I don't know if you hear or not we did the uh, the, the test of the uh, the broadcast system on our phones in the UK the other week and it turned out basically one of the operators didn't work with any of their phones well they did the same last year and it barely worked um, they did it again this year and I think it now worked everywhere so it's in progress <laughs> I mean, Austria, it's still all air horns and sirens. There's no phone system yet, I think. Yeah, that's why they do it. Get it working. Well, there eventually. <laughs> now, if you look out um, to the left, in the, the, the gardens back there, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong screen. In the direction. Uh, to the right now. <laughs> that garden. There we Fly down there a bit. Zoom in, there's a signal back there. Yeah, but you need to fly to the right to see it. Uh, oh, well. There you go. <laughs> That's appropriately silly. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so, a little Easter egg. I drive these routes with my eyes closed, training. Zug 
Uh, someone's asking, can we expect a support for NVIDIA DLSS soon? It's on the list to look at, um, but I'm not going to go ahead and make any promises. Um, if we have an update for you, I'll let you know. Um, but DLSS and FSR are definitely something we want to look at. Um, but I can't give you a time frame on that. So assume the answer is no until we tell you otherwise. And can we use the Vecron for passenger service? Um, technically, yes. If I remember correctly. In free roam you can. planner, you can make your own. We do yes. provide formations um, as long as you've got all the required DLC to make it work, which would be the BL 101 and help stuck a right rod, because 101 needs that. Memory serves. Someone else is asking why the top speed isn't 230. Um, there are different versions of the Vectron, and this version has a top speed of 200. That's a key thing to remember. Vectron is not one train. Vectron is um, is a platform, the same as Trax is a platform. And there are lots and lots of different you know, settings, setups, capabilities. The cabs are different. Same as, again, if you look at Trax cabs, they vary depending on what you're looking at. So. Um, and the same is true of the Vectron. There's a wide range of different Vectrons doing different things with different needs uh, for different operators. So um, you can't just Google Vectron and know you're looking at the same thing. Yeah, even between Austria and Germany um, differs, or the Czech Republic, different needs. reaching Cosmic. We should do more East German stuff. It's fun. I know. English dri Englishman driving in German railways, you know? I'm on time as far as I'm concerned. I was about to say, yeah, you're a mi uh, minute late, that's pretty much on time. Germany. Two minutes, okay. Still, that would be considered early for some trains. <laughs> I mean, in the UK, turning up is considered early. And that's it, they're only going to drive to Coswick because you've basically seen the rest of the route from this point, which is we've already done that. Um, so, yeah, we've driven the uh, the Meissen branch along here, and then earlier on we came up and ran up the high speed section up around that bit. So, I think it's time to head back and do a little bit of uh, do a little bit more Vectron. Um, now, my instructions. Uh, Got an answer to the controller the... question, but it was on the keyboard, so I'm trying again. Um, spammed me since I started. There we go. 
on Teams you sent the message. There we go. So it is three six seven eight three. So choose a route in Dresden. Victron. Three six seven eight three. Weather. Just, uh... Fog. Cloud level. Is that about right? Yeah. Why not? I don't know. Why not? <clears throat> Okay, so let's uh, get our headlights set up. Probably got a key in first, haven't I? Don't key. Would help. Oh, remember, don't forget that drain brake cutout. Nothing's going to happen usefully if you do not do that. Oh, the uh, the light is uh, is the uh, that now. Let's get this flipped over and shape. So let's. Break. Right there. Let's not release the brake. Gotta wait a second. Quick yellow. It's actually a really many repeaters. Mm hmm. The rules for designing chaos system areas. So many repeaters. <laughs> it's so bright. So bro. Got a green, good to go. Coming up, brakes coming off. turn safety systems on because I forgot. That's fine. That's not what this is about. I really like the volumetric fog. Really looks good. Gotta say. Yeah, I love when 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 the tech artist first showed me the screenshots of it. I'm like, I want that. I want that really much. Ollie 610 asking, can you use the Dostos with the Vectron with the formation designer? You can. So technically, yes. Except they don't have maybe a formation designer yet. Not maybe yet. Maybe even without, let me check. Eventually, yes. I remember placing down Dostos with Vectron, I think.
Now there's another area here, wasn't it, that's lit up now that wasn't before, the um, the old cigarette factory? Yeah, I've just added some light to it. That's crazy. After Tristan. saying we should add Halloween costumes during October to the NPCs, which I think is a <laughs> fantastic idea. <laughs> I'm sure how feasible that is, but I, I like that idea. It's a thumbs up for me. Yeah, stream on night time is not so fun. Yeah, the, right. yeah the bitrate doesn't do very well with nighttime streams. No, it's one of the reasons we don't normally do a nighttime stream, but. Um, we wanted to show the uh, show it off at least so you could see it. Yeah, so obviously because we have fog, the Dresden city on the right now is not that visible uh, because of fog, but it's still lit up nicely. Same with my And nighttime is best to experience on your own. I'm watching it on Twitch actually while we run it, and it's coming through really nicely on Twitch. So uh... okay, nice. Maybe we can look into like sharing some nighttime screenshots in a high resolution. It's possible because I think it's worth showing off. This looks very nice. Just the noise that looks really good. That, now. that one looked great before, but with the volumetrics it just looks really good. I'm not sure what other routes the Vectron subs in on training. I've not actually looked. Other, I mean, we, it's officially supported on the Vrauberg line and Tristan line. That's where we've actually added content for it. Um, I'm not sure. Do you know what other routes it's uh, um, sub in on, Lucas? Oh, wait, let me check. So, um, yeah, basically everywhere where you have a freight local. It's like, um, so that if you have, for example, like. Hamburg Lübeck, and you want to drive right there, you can use the Vectron. If you have Dresden cabinets, you want to drive right there, you can use the Vectron. Um, so, everywhere where it has a single freight local, it'll sub into. Not left right, of course, but one stuff.
you can drive the Vectron instead of the 365. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely a good fit on the old Nidatile line, Trenton. It's totally in keeping with the era. <laughs> Free roam is your friend. I mean, yeah. We have um, Vectron. There are Vectrons of last mile diesel, I think, so. But not this one, just to be clear. We've yeah. worked in a time travel scenario. <laughs> Done that, haven't we? I need to oh no, that was the ghost one. The ghost one, yeah. Ghost slash time travel. Just pulling the camera out to the back so you can see more clearly everything sort of the surrounding area. Looks a little ghostly in the fog. The co this fog always makes me feel really cold. <laughs> Did you want to do a full run to Rudder or we'll stop here at Rudder Boy? We were just going to stop at Rudder Out. Oh, sorry, we're going to stop at. Oh, we've stopped. Yeah, where was Rudder We've gone past it. No, you're about to come up to it. Throw the anchor. Anchor thrown. Alle hebel zu mir. But gather then, you can just click that. Electric blade blending, brake blending. So if I now cut the. Go, look, see. So having done that, I've now got no electric blade blinkers. That. It'll easy electric blade blending. So. Yes, what you asked earlier on. I think Bolt is possible, it does work. I guess we'll stop here. This will do. Quite a nice little scene. Yeah, it means in the fog. Nice. Spectron. It's completely dark and you can't see it. So there you go. Enjoy that. Look, it's brilliant. Perfect looking train. <laughs> I'm all flashed. Amazing. Right, there you go, folks. I think that is it for tonight's preview stream. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, Lucas, Jan, is there anything else you want to add before we wrap up? Oh, no. I mean, m maybe we should add that Red Pool and Siemens have been good to work with. Um, they've given us good access. So we went. I went down to Austria twice actually to record this local. So we got yeah, big thanks to big thanks to them for organising that and supporting, um, getting everything we need. And hopefully you can see the benefit of that in in the quality of the uh, the audio and uh, so forth that's been been gathered there. So um, we'll yeah, we'll call that the end of the stream then. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I hope that's um, what you were uh, what you were hoping to see. Um, if you have any other questions, post them on the forums. We'll do our best to answer them. Um, and uh, next stream, Jan is next stream will be on a Monday, September eighteenth. The free roam and scenario planner, and the stream after that, Wednesday the twentieth, is the East Coast Mainline and Flying Scotsman. Preview. And Scotsman. So to that. And the East Coast Mainline. That's going to be the hype. So there you go, folks. There you go. Uh, that's it. Come and see us on uh, on Monday for the uh, Free Roam Scenario Planner. Free Roam is where the uh, the shackles come off. You can do anything you like with uh, in the Free Roam. It's a great, great deal of fun. Um, but that's it for this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll catch you on the next stream. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.